Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 baby items that we love. Um, I went through this list uh, about a week ago and just this morning I was like, I need to film this video. So I asked Pedro to list everything that he thinks is his top, like our top items for Jedediah. And he pretty much listed every single thing on my list. So these are our top 10 baby items that we love. And we've been using either we use them more like in the early stages or using them more now or we, we've used them the whole time. For those of you guys that either have kids or you guys are going to have kids, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. So with all that being said, um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and let's get started. So... I have my notes right here next to me, so I'm gonna try not to keep looking down to see what I need to talk about. I was also going to make sure I had everything in front of me so I can show you. So there's some things I won't be able to show you, so I will insert pictures here, and that's because he's using them. So our first thing that we love and we've used since he was in the hospital is a sound machine. So obviously in the, ho in the hospital, I didn't have the sound machine, but I used the white noise on my phone until we got home. And then once we got home, we used the, um, I think it's the Hatch Baby sound machine. So the sound machine has been helpful, like just for him getting in the mode to like prepare for sleep, to go to sleep, to stay asleep. Like it not only does it cancel out like other noise, like in the living room, but it also just soothes him to sleep. And I just did research and heard that sound machines are really helpful because it's a sound that it's, it sounds similar to like when they were in the womb. So it just helps soothe them and have them fall asleep. And we keep it on during his naps and when he's going to sleep at night. So once we go in to wake him up, we turn it off and he's up and then we turn it back on when he's getting ready to go down for a nap. Our next item I actually do have here with me. I'll show you guys right now. So this next item is a little baby chair. Um, most of the things I have, I either saw other moms with it or I, I've i known about it. And I just, or I've known about it and I just wanted it for Jedediah. But for this item, I don't, I think I just looked it up because I got him this chair and it was so helpful because it was kind of hard when he was a little bit smaller, like maybe two and a half, three months to kind of do things around the house um because he kind of, he's like a little bit more needy so this chair comes up opens up like this and it comes with some toys to hook on here but you can always add your own toys to it they're in like they were washed so i don't have them on right now but this thing is super easy to take off throw it in the washer and the toys are easy to clean and he has been in this thing I want to say since he was like two months i can't remember but i know i got it super early i remember when he was so like i started putting him in here just to get used to like sitting up and he used to just like slouch down like he could not sit up and now this boy is is grown he's almost too big for it like it's kind of hard to get him out but this thing was so helpful when we're out of town to take and prop him up either on the counters on the bed um on the tables like having him up high at our level with us is so helpful so that's an item that we love and um i just recommend it because babies need like when they're obviously they have the muscle strength to sit up it's really helpful for them to sit up like if they're sitting in a chair like we do so i like the item and um that's something i'm glad we got when we got it the next item is this um standing toy i'm not sure what this is actually called but we got this um toy for him for christmas it's a standing toy. I'll turn the camera in a second because it's a little too big to put in the camera. But he pretty much just sits in it and there's toys around him and he plays with them. Um, and it's so cool to watch him develop over time because we got this for him for Christmas. And so he started using it like the week after Christmas. And um, he used to just play with one specific toy. And just this morning I was watching him explore like more toys. Like he's able to twist himself in it. And so to see him like actually be able to move a little bit better in it it's cool to like see him develop with his toys and stuff this is the toy it twists it has these like crinkly things and he used to only play with this monkey but now he likes the turtle he plays with his lion and the hippo has a little mirror so on the hippo it has a little mirror and he likes looking at himself and like i saw him this morning he was smiling and looking at himself and it was really cute because he's just learning new things about the things he already has had this item is helpful kind of like the seat but when he doesn't want to sit down this is somewhere where he can stand practice like his balance and turning his upper body 
and just getting used to being on his feet. So I really like this and I actually didn't write this down, but this is hand in hand with this item um, that we have is a jumper. And this is actually in the room where he's sleeping, so I wasn't able to bring it. But he has a jumper that you just hook onto the door, like the door frame, and he just stands and jumps and moves around and like spins around. And I put him in there for quite a few months already and he really loves that. Um, he loves jumping. And it's just to get him like practice with being on his feet, um, similar to this item right here. So my next item is a baby carrier. Um, honestly, any kind of baby carrier works, but this is ours. I love that. I love that you can fold it up and condense it for like traveling. But we, I barely explored that like a few weeks ago. We used to just leave it out like this. But this carrier is very simple. Like I had bought a, a, another carrier like before he was here, and once we took it out and tried to like figure out how to use it, it was too complicated. So I took it back. But this one, literally, you just strap this around your waist. You put your arms through here. Obviously, the baby goes in front. And then you crisscross it in the back and wrap it around. Like, it's super easy, super simple. And this carrier we've been using since he was very small. It was helpful to get things done around the house. This carrier we used, I used it around the house. I still use it here and there, like, just to go for walks. Um, when we're out of town, especially. If you watched my last video when we went to Lake Tahoe, you will see that Jedediah was in this while we were hiking. And so this is a really helpful, I think he's awake. This is a really helpful item to use um, when the babies are small. Um, even when they're older, they get to explore and you get to use it in different ways. So you can flip them around, you can put them on the side. Um, and this just was very helpful. I use it mostly. Pedro has used it a few times, but mainly I use this. Um, our next item is this play mat. So I have had, I have several play mats. I have three. So the first one I bought him was a small little puzzle one where I just wanted to, him to have more time on the actual floor. Cause he, he would do tummy time on like a little mat, but I feel like it was limiting his freedom because it like has these crossover things with like toy singing. For him to have a little bit more freedom, I wanted him to have a mat to put on the floor so he can like, you know, practice rolling. So I got him this first little puzzle mat and then his grandparents bought him a huge like mat, which we use, but I like to use that one um, at our patio so that when he's outside, he has somewhere to lay. And that one is, um, I'm not showing you that one cause that one's too big. But this one I'm showing you is a th my third one, and I recently got this one. It's easy to fold and travel with. The puzzle one was easy to travel with, but like I said, it was small and it was like for practice. But this one is like big and easy to fold up and take with us on the road. So um, when we're out and like visiting family, we can take it, have him on the floor with his toys. Because a lot of the times when we travel, it's like we're holding him all the time, or we have to pack all these toys or different things for him to sit in, which is fine, but I like him being on the floor a lot. And so I'll show you this mat that we got from Amazon and it's pretty big, but this is what it looks like. So this is the mat. It folds up like this and it has a little bag that goes with it and it's pretty big. It unfolds. I'm just gonna keep it like that. So it's like that. Our next item that I don't have with me um, is a pacifier clip. Um, this pacifier clip is the Munchie brand. I found it online and I ordered this way before he was even here. And it's something I use every time we go outside. Like anytime we go anywhere, I put that on him because I don't want his pacifier falling all the time. Sometimes it does because now he knows how to pull it off. But this clip is, is helpful because I just clip it on. I put his pacifier. Sometimes I put toys so that he can play with things and then it not always fall on the floor. Um, going w along with pacifiers, these are probably the smartest purchase <laughs> we made. And they are glow in the dark pacifiers that I just keep in the room like we don't I don't use the glow in the dark ones out in public I leave those in the room on his um, in his crib so when we put him down to sleep we have pacifier and it's just so helpful to know that if we go in there because our room is really dark for him and so if we go in there we can find the pacifier because that's that was an issue in the beginning like he'll be crying for the pacifier and I'm like I can't find it and then it wakes him up it's too much so I just keep like one or two pacifiers in his crib so he can use one and then if I lose one but yeah those have been helpful is to use the glow in the dark pacifiers next is a um is more toys so this is a subscription that I got him when he was about two months so this subscription is called, I'm going to show you because I brought most of 
his item. This is the, the Love Every subscription box. I'm gonna show you some items that I got, but I first wanna explain to you kind of what it is. So the Love Every subscription box is a box of toys that are sent out from people. Well, it's like a company, but they did research on how on toys and activities for kids to help with development and things that they do like at each stage. So I didn't get the one month, the newborn in one month, or was it one month? I think it was like the newborn box and it was like one in two months. I didn't get that one because I started doing research at, around that time and looking into it. And I was, it was already like the end of his two months, like when he was two months, it was already gonna be like, he was gonna turn three months. So I didn't wanna pay for a box that he was already gonna outgrow. But if I were to have a second kid, I would definitely buy that box so that that, so that, that child has it. But I started at three to four months. And what they do is every two months, well, this is what I bought. I bought the full year. You can buy a certain amount of months or you can do it like one month at a time, however you wanna do it. But I bought the year one, so they send me two months worth of toys every, every other month. So I've gotten the three and four months and I've gotten the five and six months and his seven and eight months is coming next week. So I will show you some toys from here um, and kind of what it includes. So, this is the little like card that comes in here and it tells you all the toys. So this is his five to six months. Um, it comes with like a book with parts of me. So it has like um, items or like body parts on it that you can read and look over with the baby. It came with this little ball. Um, and this is, and on the website, it tells you what the developmental like stages and what they, what these items help the babies with. So I'm not gonna go over that because you guys can always look at it on your own time in case you're interested. But these like balls, this ball came in it. It came with this box with like tissue. It's like magic tissue. Like it's, well, I don't have them in correctly, but you pull them out. <laughs> I don't have it in right, but you pull them out and they're linked. So the baby can pull them out, put them back in and you literally just take it out from the bottom. I think I just shoved them in because I was lazy. Um. Some other things that came in this box was like some socks that like rattle. So I put them on when he's playing and he, this little wobbler ball came. He loves this thing, but he gets frustrated because he can't get his mouth on it how he wants to. He got this little spinning thing. And, um, and these are some items that came in his last box. So his three to four months came with this little book. He has a pencil. It comes with black and white cards, but I put some pictures in there for us. Um, and they're double-sided pictures. But I just went ahead and put up this picture. It comes with little sounds, um, textures. So these are very good, like little items for little babies. And it's cool because when we first started giving that to him, when he was like two, three months, he would like love to play with the strings that I just showed, but now he like flips through the books. He like plays with everything and it's cool. He got this little teether, this little rattle, another little chewing toy. This is three to four months. And then like this little thing. So I love this subscription because it literally tells you how to use all these toys, what they're used for, how they are like going to improve the baby's development, all that stuff. So, and you can always, like, once the baby's, like, already five months, he can still, he still plays with stuff from his three and four month box. So, it's, like, a, just a little collection of toys that you get. And I love these toys because they're very, like, appealing to the eye. Like, I can't stand toys that are super eyesores and they're too, like, bright. Like, honestly, his standing table is, it's a lot of colors, but it's not too bad. Like, it's not too obnoxious and that's really his only like super bright item is that standing table but everything else is super like neutral or it's very minimal and i love that the colors are not too obnoxious the noise are not too obnoxious there's no lights there's no electronics to it like i love that and so that's the love every subscription box next thing is the owlet sock so this is a sock that monitors the baby's heart rate and um oxygen and i use this a lot the first like couple months especially when he had acid reflux because it was not only are we first time parents but you're very worried about your child's like are they breathing are they good so um having the sock gave us a lot of reinsurance it would alert us if his like oxygen level decreased or if his heart rate increased or decreased and so that was really helpful especially in the early days we don't use it much at all now unless he were to be sick those are like times when i want i'm glad i have it because i can use it if i need it 
but we don't really use it anymore. Um, but that's definitely an item that we used in the beginning that we really loved. Um, well, I loved it way more than Pedro. Pedro could care less because if it was on incorrectly, it would alert. But they have different sounds, like an emergency alert versus a misplacement alert, like a like or like a communication issue. Like if it wasn't reading the monitor, it would alert you. And Pedro didn't like that. Um, our last item on this list is our baby monitor. This is the Mo Motorola baby monitor. It is um, it does not it uses Bluetooth not Wi-Fi and this one is known like it's not known for being hacked or anything and you literally just set the camera up and we don't have it mounted so we can it's mobile we can take it when we go out of town we can move it around the room or the house and um, we just monitor it on the little monitor and you just keep both of them charged and it works perfectly fine so we've used that since we got it I think we got it maybe like when he was like two or three months because he started sleeping his naps in his room. And so we were able to do things around the house without having to watch him or worry, like, is he okay? So that was really helpful. Um, it doesn't have like the best quality and I don't mind that. As long as I can see he's breathing and I can hear him, that's all that matters. So that's the end of this video. Um, this was our top 10 baby items that Pedro and I love for Jedediah and that we will keep and we will use for other children because these were just helpful. So hopefully these, this video helped you guys if you are looking for new items for your kids or maybe you just want to know what do people use for babies i don't know um hopefully you learned something and enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time peace